how to find momentum stocks which are holding up well when the market goes into a correction. Uh, if you know the stocks which are holding up well, then some of them can have a breakout after this market correction is over. And in order to find this, you what you can do is you can develop a systematic way of every day looking at stocks which are on a different time frame going up and ranking the stocks and looking at those stocks which are holding up well. So in order to do this, what you should do is you should like and I set up some sort of a momentum criteria on different time frame. So I will show you how you can do this in TC2000 and some of the stocks which are holding up well during this particular correction and which stocks have started breaking down. That also allows you to create a watch list of stocks which had a breakdown on high volume and which are likely to have a second leg down. So that can be your watch list for shorting and you can also have a watch list which is for going long where you have stocks which are holding up well. So let's go and look at TC2000 and see how we can do this very easily in TC2000. Now when you go to TC2000 and when you start looking at this, what you can do is like basically this is just a universe which I have created of US common stock, American depository receipt and ETFs and to this I added some conditions in terms of price condition. So price is about $3 and liquidity condition to eliminate stocks which don't have sufficient liquidity or which are not traded at least 100,000 in the last three days. So once you have that, you get this list. Now, in order to sort it by different momentum criteria, what you can create is you can create this different kind of momentum criteria. So I have a five day momentum, I have a 10 day momentum, I have a one month momentum, this is a quarterly momentum, this is a 42 days or which is like two months momentum. This is a momentum which is captured from a 52 week low. This is a momentum which is a six months momentum. This is a momentum, six months momentum offset by 25 days or offset by a month. What it means is stocks which were ranked very highly by six months momentum a month ago. Similarly, I have a momentum ranking which is MDT 50 which like you know, basically is looking for stocks which had six months momentum uh, 50 days ago or two months ago. So now once you have this kind of a thing, let's look at like in a longer term momentum first and then keep going at shorter term momentum to look at. So we start with the longest which is like the MDT uh, 50 which is a stocks which had six months momentum rank very high uh, 50 days ago. And now if you see where I rank stocks by this, now this is a stock which is holding up really well. And so you can create a watch list of stocks. So let's look at top 50 stocks like this and see which stocks while this stock is having a very orderly uh, pullback it has already down around 53 percent uh, so that's the kind of things which happens some stocks are going to hold up their gains while this stock is already down 50 percent uh, this is a stock which tried to break out and came down so like this when you go through this list what you'll see is many stocks have started to break down or had high volume breakdowns recently while some of these kind of stocks are holding up well. So you can create a watch list of stocks which are holding up well. Right. Uh, while this star market is correcting there are stocks like uh, the one which we just saw Oscar which like had a, actually a breakout in the last five days and have gone up. So these are stocks which are the strongest stocks uh, or strong stocks in this current market. Now your microgenics your CLSK which is again a stock which is ranked very highly by momentum and has been rallying your Howell which is like an again highly ranked by momentum. When you have a flat line like this that means the stock has been bought out and I normally mark the stocks which have been bought out like this so that you know not to pay attention to them. So here is a classic example of like what happens in a stock is there is some news it breaks out and then it goes sideways for a long period of time and now in the last two days it has made a move. So you can keep an, on top of all the momentum moves which are still holding up by doing a ranking like this based on uh, momentum, offsetting momentum. So you will get these kind of stocks which had held up very well. right? So we just look at a couple of them 
and the Viking Therapeutics again it is holding up very well. So like this when you look at like stocks which are holding up well um, you can create a watch list from them. Now if we drop this time frame to look at stocks uh, which were like in a month ago ranked very highly by momentum and whether they are holding up or they are reversing then you will see another way to find strong stocks. So for that I go to MDT25 which is again a, a momentum, six months momentum which has been calculated as of a month ago. So what it means is the stock was ranked very highly by momentum six months ago and uh, now uh, it might be having a pullback right and basically so once you have this and once you start so root was a stock which had a very good momentum and now it has had a pullback basically or jan which is already going up soundhound which had a lot of momentum a month ago and ended up giving up all that momentum cardiff giants which is holding up well so that's the kind of stocks which you want to keep an eye on in case it breaks out uh, so that's the thing basically New scale SMR, futile element. So if you have set up like, uh, if you set up these things like this, you can always be on top of stocks which are holding up well uh, during the correction and also look at stocks which had a breakdown, like this stock had a breakdown, the first leg and this is the second leg started basically, right? So those are the things which you can go and do by understanding momentum well and setting up momentum ranking like this basically. So this is based on one month momentum. Now let's look at which stocks are the strongest stocks by six months momentum here. These are ranked now by six months momentum and when you rank them by six months momentum as of now these are the top ranked stocks by momentum as you can see Zap has got a big move, my sorry Jan candle. So the difference between something like this is currently they are still in a momentum phase while the stocks uh, which we looked at first time they were like in a ranked high by this kind of a ranking 50 days ago or 25 days ago and that way when stock go sideways for a long period of time you can still be on top of them. So these are the stock which are currently ranked high by momentum basically. So this is another way in which you can create a watch list and be on top of the opportunities in the market. Now this is a slightly different kind of a momentum. This momentum is the kind of momentum which is like a Darwas momentum. Darwas was looking for a stock which has made a move from a 52 week low. So this calculates momentum from a 52 week low and you will see that this particular in this particular momentum thing uh, this is the stock which is ranked. Highly. So what it is calculating is it is calculating momentum from a 52 week low uh, to, uh, stocks ranking by 52 week low. So as you can see you have stocks which are like slightly different stocks. Each list will qualitatively have a different kind of a stocks. Like this stock made a big move here right and it had a pullback and now it is trying to recover from that pullback. So this is another way in which you can build a watch list like this. And I will leave a link in the uh, description on how to do this uh, to a post which I will make it on my blog where you can see how you can set this up and also leave a link for some of you who have TC2000 for this particular layout so that you can find the same thing. Uh, and you can set this up yourself. So this is for stocks which have like in a doubled or tripled from 52 week low and those are the strongest stocks. Now. Uh, T65 which is my uh, this thing which is a quarterly momentum so these are stocks by 65 day momentum they are ranked very highly and again you will see that this will focus more on stocks which are recent winners versus the stocks in the first list so in this case when we were just looking at this just now like and you will see that like some of these stocks are just having an orderly uh, consolidation now are having an orderly pullback or this stock is having an orderly pullback or this stock particularly right and basically. So you can have a watch list like this watch them and enter as and when they start breaking out or stock therapeutics. So this is a quarterly momentum. Now if you want to find momentum 
by lower time frame like one month. So this is a one month moment of stocks which are the strongest stocks in the last one month basically. And here you can see these are the strongest stocks by one month momentum basically. So these are all stocks which are like in a basically uh, going up by one month uh, momentum. Now if you want to drop the thing and look for like really the stocks which are strongest stocks in last 10 days you can drop to 10 day momentum when you drop to 10 day momentum you will see stocks uh, now the advantage of 10 day momentum is when you have a move which has just started and the first leg is established then you want to get into the second leg in case you didn't get into the first leg so in that case it allows you to isolate stocks like this where there is a first leg and now it has a pullback right and basically so that's the advantage of doing this. Now the other way you can also use this information is if you rank by these 10 days, you can find which were the weakest stocks also in the last 10 days. Which stocks had the biggest breakdown or which stocks were going down the most in the last 10 days. And you can use the this to create a watch list of stocks to watch for shorting uh, in the second leg. So similarly, this is a one week momentum. And in one week momentum, you're looking for the stocks which are just recently in the last five days had a uh, lot of momentum. Which also tells you what themes are working or what kind of stocks are going up in last five days. Are there a lot of breakouts working in the last five days? And uh, so which stocks had breakouts working in the last five days you'll see the cryptocurrency related stocks had breakouts working in the last five days most of the other stocks had one day move these are all crypto related stocks cypher which is again crypto related and that way canopy growth stocks so these are the things which you can do so being on top of this stock and you can use this same information to create the list other way which is like and if you want to look at like any stocks which are the weakest stocks uh, in the market. You can create a list of stocks which are weakest and look at the weakest stocks basically, right? And basically, um, is that right? Yes. So you can like and look at the weakest stocks. You can look at the weakest stocks by a uh, different time frame and see which stocks were down a lot, like this stock was down a lot. So a lot of time, Actually, it makes a lot of sense to look at the stocks which are very weak because many of the stocks which are weak are the one which bounce back very fast if they have a catalyst basically. So there are many ways in which you can use this particular way of looking at momentum ranking. This is a momentum ranking and which I run this kind of a momentum ranking every day and then look at stocks ranked top 50 by momentum on different time frames and from that create a watch list of stocks for both uh, buying as well as short selling because if a stock was very strong and starts breaking down then it can go on a watch list looking for short sell if a stock is had was very strong and is having an orderly consolidation or an orderly pullback on a low volume setting up nicely possibly likely to break out then you want to have it on a watch list so that as and when it breaks out you can enter that stock very quickly and you can get an entry uh, which allows you to have a lower risk. So momentum ranking is one of the ways in which you can build a watch list and this particular way of setting up these scans will allow you to rapidly do it. It takes me around 15 minutes in the night to do this kind of a work.